I'll take my Liverpool glasses aside and I'll say that quote was not really needed, to be very honest with you. Think about it, right? The scale of project that Arteta is in is in charge of now, right? Will, hmm. it would have probably prepped him for the scale of job that's at United right now. So we're going to debut our new segment, probably like take 10 minutes. It's called Hot mm-hmm. Takes. We're going to go around like the, the football media world, find quotes that people have said. And probably talk about like the view, your views on those quotes. Uh, the one hot take that we have for today is Trent Alexander Arnold. Uh, Trent said recently that looking back on this era, although they won more titles than us, they being Man City, um, and have probably been more successful, our trophies will mean more to us and our fan bases because of the uh, situations of both clubs financially. How both clubs have built their teams and the manner in which they, we've done it. It probably means more to us. So I want to know: Is he crying, or does he actually have a point? I'm not going to go to. Uh, I'm, okay, let's go to Avina first. Okay, I'll take my Liverpool glasses aside and I'll say that quote was not really needed. To be very honest with you, like yeah, I mean it's basically just to kind of poke and then before the big match or something and then just mm. get some reaction sort of. But he's mm-hmm. not entirely wrong. I mean, I think he's he's hinting at all the UEFA challenges and what City is facing and how we build the team and all that. But I also understand that a club of Liverpool stature, like I don't know, you have like an 800 million squad or something, and then you have this investment balance banking. You you can't keep crying foul and say that okay, we are we are a, we are a so poor team or whatever. No, yeah, you have you are what you are. Hey, you know, City are City are doing City are doing everything. Now, in you know, you know, very, I don't know, corrupt or at least you know, not they're not following the rules. I get we get all of that, but just don't kind of keep saying that Liverpool are so bad as well. I mean, Liverpool uh, need this, you know, um, they're doing everything right, and we're not at the level of City because we are. So yes, the quote I can understand why he said it, just to kind of evoke some reaction. But again, mm-hmm. at the same time, I don't know. I mean, it is what it is. I guess. We, we can't you are an expect- for all the time. <laughs> Can we change the hot take? I expected a better reaction. I thought you'll be like a trained fanboy here. Uh, but I was just being reasonable. No, like this, but you yeah, be, you, you, be, you know, that's mm-hmm. your right. You're right. I actually truly believe that. Agent, you have different views or similar views? I mean, similar views, but different take. I feel like. Uh, see, I feel like with City, when it comes to City, right, you can't really fault a fan for, or you can't really call out a fan of any team or or any club in the world and be like our fans or our trof- or our trophies means more to our fans than their trophies means to their fans because it's at the end of it it's uh you know that's what fandom is like you know you go crazy you yeah. battle with like commoners and you do all of those things so bringing fans in is kind of petty and secondly that's one point the second thing is like we all know what city is right there'll always be an at- yeah. asterisk against their all their titles so mm-hmm. When players, especially players who are, you know, who are good players, who are in position of power, whose words actually mean something, when they come out and say it, that asterisk kind of gets diluted a little bit. Like, these are the things that they don't need to be said. Like, everybody knows it. It will exactly. always be the center of the conversation. So, I just feel like it was, again, to your point, it was one of those things that wanted uh, some reaction out of City, maybe Liverpool, maybe like rile up the fans to show up at Anfield, but... Uh, yeah, there were so many other ways to do it. Like, just say I pocketed somebody. Yeah. Like, people will be like, like you know, go, go on the post yeah, on right. every level. Like, go bring that ruthlessness back to football. You don't have to be yeah. nice and hide behind financial paywalls. Just be like, yeah, I fucking, like, prove myself in front of that guy. I'm willing to face him again. And, like, you know, bring that side of theory sports back into... Uh, exactly, right? Not I mean, like to your point. Nice it is. Yeah, he fucking scored against City earlier in yeah. the season, right? I think he could talk mm, he about did. that. He could talk about yeah. all the times he could. He yeah. played well against City, but I think mean, he's talking about things that he, I don't know, probably wouldn't fully understand. I guess, and I think it's just something. I think, which is, I think he's seen yeah. the memes of uh, City fans and Liverpool fans kissing each other's ass. Those kind of memes. So he's like, I'm going to change this. <laughs> I need to change this behavior <laughs> right now. He, even even after full time today, you can see how Haaland and Van Dijk were hugging each other. They're all smiling and everything. I'm like, like this is a very friend. I mean, De Bruyne skins and Van Dijk skips over the same school. They kind of hang out all, all the time. Do you remember that yeah. uh, Ramsdale incident will happen at Tottenham where like a fan threw a. You basically need that, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> something like that. Arteta is running, yeah. taking him away. Yeah, I think NLD is crazy like that. Um, 
ஒரேஷனல் <laughs> 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 and uh i'm i'm going to head like he said that with, like, with chess um thoughts on that mumsy yeah i don't know what like truly like, he believes that like uh, he truly believes that united are big enough for like a manager no, it's to possible come it's in. happened before bigger players than ateta have moved you know they've come won the league you've seen this shit happen with rvd before <laughs> it's happened before right like big names moving you don't know what the such but that's like that was only when like you were good That's not I mean, happened. They didn't win the league that season also. Then RVP went in there. Uh, but did Ferguson was there? I mean, that was the that was not the banter era. I mean, I mean, I mean good think about it, right? The scale of project that Arteta is in is in charge of now, right? We mm-hmm. would have probably prepped him for the scale of job that's at United right now, and they need the capacity of a manager who's who's done a job like that, and maybe Arteta should be on that list, you know, sanely. whether he'll come he'll not come okay. right we that's a going. different we story but you know if there is a list maybe he should be on that right and things happen okay. though worst things have happened you know oh so it'll be a worst you know we though. talked about thing. we talked about arsenal we, we talked about arteta having a senior complex i get that but he's not a senior in that club he's not going to go to united and do that shit <laughs> so it it's it's delusional man i don't know i think rio for and everything he does not just this storm and this sort of everything I mean, normally i'm not saying just, i agree with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah i mean it's a shit mm-hmm. comment to make yeah, again it's one of those uh, things about like it 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 sounds like he's fucking jealous of what arteta is doing at arsenal right and I I personally don't feel that way. I mean Arteta is doing fucking the the way that you know the challenges that he had to face right to get to where they are where Arsenal is now. It's no fucking joke and no small feat to do that. But I but you you still think that like this is a step up like as the job perspective or whatever this is the scale is bigger. Yeah, definitely a bigger scale. And this is just scale. a step yeah, up. I think so too. It bigger yeah, scale. I mean And the reward Dude, the I mean, is what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, because see, he, he would go to Barcelona in a heartbeat, like if they truly wanted him, right? And and hmm. you, you know, United is in that so. league of like Real Madrid, Barcelona. Maybe they they don't play that kind of football anymore. But you know, it doesn't dispute the fact that you know people still consider it to be in the league, right? And maybe which year are you living in? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> again, if he can go to Barcelona, no, I mean... if he can go to Madrid, you know. United a job that he'll take and I don't know man this maybe we'll get a better what... manager than Arteta you know maybe they no, no, if Arteta no, doesn't win this year that. maybe you know maybe the boys want to sack him who knows if not now then when are you going to fucking win it 8 okay. years more right like no bro we are happy right. and I'll be coming second <laughs> But uh, but like easy word you reply to this No no no, no. I mean, I mean, mean, this this doesn't need replying this is this is whatever this is basically uh, the inferiority complex of a club who was who were and have been are nowhere near anywhere in the picture and they just want to be significant and that's why they come up with it but I think it and this is not not Devon this is not this is more Leo Ferdinand okay and this is this is his comments come from a very I I strongly personally believe that Our era at forty two, forty three, whatever he is, he's achieved so much more, despite being a lesser player, and a lot of United, Liverpool, English players who have tried, tested, and failed miserably, and like Gary Neville did that, Paul Scholes did that, Roy Keane did that, Rio Ferdinand probably hasn't, but then he doesn't have the balls to anyway do it. Gerard did it, Lampard did it. All of these players arguably better than Art era had much less, uh, you know, extravagant careers. and arteta basically brought a club which all of them hated because obviously like it's a mutual feeling like all of the arsenal play- players and fans hate united and vice versa because we lived through that heated rivalry and this guy doing something that basically they want all their pals to do like they want gerard to succeed at liverpool they want lampard to succeed at chelsea but they want wayne rooney to do the same at wherever he he goes at but none mm-hmm. of them are able to and arteta is doing it at a much larger scale in his first job 
uh, competing with Guardiola and Klopp, barely anybody could do that. Only uh, what Klopp was was able to compete with Guardiola and then Conte and and probably another manager Mourinho, who won leagues over over Pep. So. But like he's in elitist of the elite categories right now in terms of just coaching the team. Maybe he's not won it, and maybe it will never come. I mean, who's to who's seen the future? But this this definitely stems from a very deep insecurity about you know firstly not wanting Arsenal to do well, and secondly somebody achieving more than they could in the English Premier League, where which is the league that they cover the most. And also thirdly. It's a great underhand comment, a compliment where you can't really go ahead and praise someone, so you praise them in an underhand way, wherein like you know you're jealous of them. So I think that's that's where no, it yeah, comes from. I agree comments. with him on that. It sounds like a jealous fucking statement to make, right? Like who goes on fucking media and says this shit? He has a podcast. I know. Right? So he can say whatever. Like you're saying whatever you fucking want, right? He can also say whatever he wants. Dude, I mean, I mean, all. I think that. Or yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. No. No, I was just saying. I think that podcast is with that guy, right, Stephen Housen or something. Mm. I think he's one of the most cartoon characters I've seen. In, in, again, it is there. Are, he, it's he all also about hates. yeah, he hates Arsenal. Exactly, yeah. and I think most of it is doesn't come from a point of reason or anything. It's just about like trying to kind of get those remarks and then cake and all of that. I think that that's in that podcast he's been he made that comment. I think ever since he he kind of joined you know that podcast with, with Stephen Housen, I think even. They had Mourinho on there or something like that, but I think all of these statements are just like kind of get those clicks and reactions, not things from a place of reason or you know at least you know, trying to understand where you know they'll go. It's all very you know basic. 